G'day, how you going? Welcome to Philosophy, and my name is Tech. Now, this is where I normally acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on, but let's let Qantas do this. Uh, Qantas Link would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the airport's lands, the Wajak people. We pay our respects to elders, past, present, and emerging. So today, I'm going to take a look at a comparison between two Aussie lace-up boots the Thomas George Collection Frio and the R.M. Williams Rickaby Boot. So today I'm comparing two Australian uh, lace-up boots in uh, a service boot kind of style derby boot design. The first one is a Thomas George Collection service boot called the Frio in a blue suede from Charles F. Stead. And the second one is in a black new buck made by R.M. Williams. Uh, and it's, I'm not sure you call this a service boot. It has a work boot, I think, style plain toe toe. Um, uh, and the toe box itself is kind of a little bit more rounded and more like a work boot than a service boot. So you might be surprised to learn that R.M. Williams actually makes lace-up boots because they're famous for obviously their Chelsea boots being the Craftsman and other uh, Chelsea boots in their range. But they do make a number of lace-up boots. Most of them are designed for work in the yard uh, on sheep and cattle stations and so on. But they can obviously also be used uh, quite casually uh, in uh, city situations. Um, Apart from this, they also make them, the Rickaby and other models, in different leathers, in full grain, smooth leathers, and so on. As for the Thomas George collection, they're a newish boot company started in uh, 2020. Uh, and these are made in Vietnam, whereas the RM Williams are made in Australia. But they are designed in Melbourne using an old uh, World War II Australian soldier's uh, last. Uh, which they use to manufacture these new boots. So let me start by uh, talking about the RM Williams Rickaby boot. No need to introduce RM Williams as a brand, obviously, uh, but if you want to know more, go check out my review on the uh, Craftsman uh, and for the history of the uh, RM Williams company, as well as to take a look at the Craftsman. So this is their lace up boot. Um, it's starting to be quite rare because they're only producing them every so often for different seasons. I think currently on their website, as we film, the only model that's left is in a uh, cognac suede. Uh, and this black um, new buck leather is not available at the moment, but they do cycle them through, whether that means it's difficult for them to get the leather in this COVID supply chain world or otherwise. They haven't gone away. Uh, it's still one of their staples. Let's go through this boot. So uh, I've already reviewed this boot and you can have a look up there. So I'll only go through it briefly. It's a plain toe, uh, I suppose you would call it a service boot, but I think this might verge on a work boot type of shape because it has a higher profile rounded toe, uh, not as sleek as maybe you'd expect in some service boots. It's got a V700 um, style, uh, rubber sole, a rubber outsole. You'll see that it does not say Vibram or Vibram, uh, but I'm almost certain that this is made by Vibram for RM Williams. RM Williams are a big enough company uh, that they can ask Vibram to manufacture outsoles for them and put their own brand on them. Um, as I said, this is in a new buck leather, so it's really nice and soft uh, leather, quite nappy. Um, the most famous new buck leather I think you'll find is Timberland's six-inch yellow boot. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brass eyelets, no speed hooks, um, and it's a little difficult to get on and off unless you get really long laces because you need to get that quite wide open because the last is actually quite a sleek last. So the derby style opening needs to be pushed right open. It's a fully lined boot, as you can see. Uh, it's an ungusseted tongue, but surprisingly for me, uh, it doesn't move 
I think because it's got this little loop where you pass the uh, laces through, and if you have an ungusseted tongue, I've no idea why bootmakers don't put that in. There's a little uh, cloth pull tab with the usual Made in Australia RM Williams. On the Chelsea boots, you'll find the address of their headquarters at 5 uh, Percy Street uh, in an Adelaide suburb. This size is a 7G. Now, my normal size in RM Williams Chelsea boots is an 8G. That's UK 8. Uh, and that's actually about half a size bigger than my true size. But I find in these a 7G, UK 7, uh, that um, uh, is actually fitting me quite well. A little bit tight in the toe, but otherwise the right length and certainly the right width across the ball of the feet. It has, uh, as I said, a rubber outsole, but the traditional cork and leather combination uh, in the mid and insole and a, steel, a, a fiberglass shank. RM Williams is famous for their fiberglass shanks. Uh, because, they say, it lasts a hell of a lot longer than steel, which can rust and break, uh, and also it's very useful for getting through airports. Now, taking a look at the Thomas George Collection Service Boot, and again, I've already done a review in full, so you can see that up there. Uh, so again, I'm not going to run through it in any great detail. But this one is made in Vietnam. Uh, Thomas George Collection uh, basically started in 2020 in the midst of the uh, uh, pandemic, unfortunately. Uh, and for them, uh, they sourced, they tried to find an Australian uh, boot factory, couldn't find one uh, for the price that they were trying to get these made in, and then eventually partnered with a Japanese company that had a factory in Vietnam. So the Japanese company apparently makes really high quality shoes, and therefore their uh, Vietnam uh, a factory was tooled up to make quality boots. You can see it's a stitch down design, uh, double stitching. I had a comment on my Instagram when I showed these. Somebody said that stitching was horrible. I, I'm not entirely sure why. It looks fairly even to me. Maybe he just didn't like the white contrast stitching on the blue. Um, it's stitched right through uh, to the outsole, through the midsole. Inside the boot is the normal, again, traditional uh, cork and leather combination, so it molds to the shape of your feet. It's a little thin. If you look at this boot, um, there's the leather and then there's a, a midsole, quite a thin midsole through which the uppers are sewn uh, in the front of the, of the boot, and then the rear of the boot is nailed and uh, glued on to provide a sleeker sort of shape down the side. It's in dark blue CFS. Uh, uh, CFS stead suede, uh, five brass eyelets and two speed hooks, providing a little bit easier lacing up. Uh, as you can see, the shape is that of a service boot, and apparently this is designed on World War II Australian service boots. So how do they compare? Firstly, aesthetics. The shape of the toe is quite different. The Thomas George collection is a lot more sleek than this sort of rounded uh, toe box shape of the RM Williams. Not forgetting this, I think, was intended originally as a work boot. And this is, despite it being service boot based, is more of a fashionable casual boot. Obviously, the materials are different. In terms of weight, they're roughly the same weight. This one is a stitch down collection, so theoretically a little bit more water resistant than a Goodyear welt, although many Goodyear welt purists will say this is much more water resistant because there are no stitch holes that go all the way through to the, um, uh, to the outsole from within the vamp. Uh, whereas these stitch down stitches go all the way through from the top of the uh, turned out vamp to the bottom of the uh, outsole. But uh, stitch down loyalists will say that's fine because the water will roll off the turned up, flared up bit anyway and it's not gonna get inside the boot. In terms of sizing, this is a UK seven and a half boot. So that's my true to size. That's equal to a, a US eight and a half. This is a UK seven boot. And that's what I normally wear because that's equivalent to a US eight size. But these are ever so slightly tighter than these. You'd expect that, but not so much in the length, funnily enough, it's in the width, even though 
well, I was going to say even though the width looks the same, but they might be the same at the ball of the feet, uh, of the feet but you can see that at the toe, they, this one starts to uh, get into an almond shape. Uh, in terms of the size, don't forget this is a seven and a half and this is an eight. In terms of sizing, pretty similar, I think you'll find. Agree? In terms of comfort, uh, I think the RM Williams is a touch more comfortable. It has this thick rubber uh, Vibram like, V700 like sole. So it's very grippy and comfortable. Uh, I think it has a thicker layer of cork in the, in the uh, filler because I, I can feel that there's more shock absorption on the ball of the feet. Uh, the heel grips a little bit more snug than on the Thomas George collection. In terms of comfort in the toe, uh, this has a structured toe, so it leaves enough room not to squash down onto your toes. This is an unstructured toe, quite soft, and as a result of that and the soft lined uh, suede from Charles F. Stead, it's really beautiful on foot. Uh, but underfoot, I think this is a little bit thinner because I can feel when I'm walking, uh, pretty much every stone and, and piece of gravel that I, I step on, whereas with these, I'm standing on rubber, and that protects me. Uh, from all the stones and so on. So in summary, they're two very similar boots. Um, in terms of price and value, the RM Williams boot is about um, $650, near, nearly $700 Australian dollars. Uh, the Thomas George collection is under $400 Australian dollars, and they do go on sale from time to time, whereas I found it very difficult to find RM Williams on sale. Uh, so in terms of value, not forgetting that this is an Australian tanned new buck and this is a Charles F. Stead tanned in the UK suede. The value is pretty good reflected in those prices. I think possibly, uh, maybe there may be a premium put on the name RM Williams in the pricing of this boot. In terms of uh, the wear, I think both wear reasonably well. This one's slightly less comfortable than this one. Uh, the RM Williams has a thick outsole, whereas this is quite a thin, sleek design and therefore not as comfortable underfoot. In terms of style, both are really stylish. You can wear them in casual uh, terms. Uh, dark blue suede may be a little less versatile than a black boot, but that's up to you. So guys, uh, I hope you like that review. Uh, it's very rare to find an Australian lace-up boot because Australian boot companies usually make Chelsea work boots or uh, fairly stylish, sleek uh, Chelsea riding boots. I like both of them and I hope you like them. I'll put links to where you can get them below. They're not affiliate links. Uh, and if you did like this video, don't forget to click on like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please do. And until the next time, take care and I'll see you soon.